Welcome back to my channel. This is Shady Atia, and today's presentation is about open data. Well, open data is a very important topic, and it's part of a playlist on open science. Previously, I talked about uh, open science and open access publishing, and today I'm going to talk about open data. Well, the goal of today's presentation is to understand the meaning and value of open data and support researchers to share their data sets through the scientific community. I will have a short introduction talking about the different data sharing platforms that are well known, uh, what are the data sharing criteria that we should respect, and some takeaway messages. So let's start with the introduction. Well, open data allows scientists to share their data sets, and open data is about making your data available online in data sets or in depositories. Open data includes raw data, clean data, code of analysis, or pre-registration protocol on how data was collected. So it includes all these different variations. Why is though open data important and relevant? Because sharing of data set and metadata models, softwares, and other resources promises to speed discoveries, improve reproducibility, and expand economic development. Also, it promotes a more accurate verification of scientific results, provides the basis for scientific claims, allowing for self-correction and validation, and allows to revisit assumptions and reproduce the experiment in the now and the future with better scientific means, allowing for randomization or kind of meta-analysis for randomized uh, trials or uh, meta-analysis for case studies, and so on and so on. Also, it's very beneficial for funders because funders and publishers ask to share data and consider themselves owners from collection to publication. And this is a very important aspect. They will ask you in a certain moment, if you are not aware, to allow for availability, quality of the data, the usability of the data, and the reproducibility of the data. And many young researchers, when they embark in any research funded by universities or uh, funding agencies, they are not aware that the data set that will be produced during this research, they are owned by the funder. Now, data sharing pl platforms are in this uh, presentation play a very important role because if we believe in data set sharing or uh, open uh, data, we will need to have infrastructure to share our information. In general, when we talk about a data set, it needs to ha be or having original data, clean data. It can be also a code. It can be a software that you used or it can be a pre-registration protocol on how was the data collected. So these are all different of data set contents and we when we look at example of data set it can be a table of uh, excel in csv format for example it can be an organized collection of tables it can be a file in a proprietary uh, format that contains data it can be a collection of files that uh, together constitute some meaningful data set uh, in zip format for example a structured object with data in some other format that you might want to load into a special tool for processing it can be uh, images capturing data, it can be files related to machine learning such as trained parameters or neural network uh, structure definition. So these are all examples of data set that you can share through publishing. Now we come to the very important part is how to protect my contribution. First of all, if you want to share a data set, don't worry because it will be on your name. So you just need to have a universal numeric fingerprint. And in this sense, you can have a digital object identifier, DOI. If you know, want to know more about it, please watch my video. And this is an example of one of my data sets that I published in 2021. You can see here that this is a benchmark model, the title of it. It has my name, it has the year, and here is the e DOI number. And I publishes, published it in a depository called Harvard Dataverse. And this is the unique uh, number uh, the unique no numeric fingerprint, as you can see, the UNF is here, and anybody can trace it and access it. So the same will apply to you. The advantage of having this universal numeric footprint that you will have a permanent identifier, and also you can uh, define the creative commons or the rights that you want to have while sharing the data. If you want to know about Creative Commons, I advise you to watch the video about Creative Commons because I explain what kind of rights you can allow others to have while exploring or using your data set. Now, if you want to know what are the most famous data uh, sharing platforms that you should be aware about, there is, first of all, Harvard Dataverse repositories. They are very famous. The OSF or the Open Science repositories. We have also the Zenodo 
open access repository and we have the Dryad repository. Those are the most famous repositories because depending on the field of specialization, you can ask, inquire from your uh, colleagues to check which one is the closest to your field. But in general, the four are very famous. I personally, I use the Zenodo and I use the Harvard Dataverse in my publication. Apart from data sharing pl platforms, there is other type of journals for data sets. So here I'm not talking about a platform, I'm talking about a data journal. Here I'm talking about Elsevier's data, data in brief. Nature has something called scientific data. And the MDPI publisher has a journal called data. Here I'm talking not about a data set, because here the data set in the first four, four uh, platforms, you just publish it without review being reviewed. While here I'm talking about a journal uh, that will accept the data and publish it. And here it needs to go through a peer reviewing process. Now allow me to share with you this uh, table that I developed that compares the different platforms. So here I listed all the platforms uh, until Mendeley. And after Mendeley, I'm adding uh, the journals like Data in Brief, Elsevier, Scientific Data uh, of Nature, Data of MDPI. So we have the last three here. These are journals. And the first five are data uh, platforms. And as you can see, the criteria that I looked at which is a repository, which is a open, which was in open access format, which provides a universal uh, numeric identification number, which has a DOI, which are peer reviewed, which requires charges, what are the formats available, and what are the funding behind these depositories, so you have an idea. So as you can see, Zenodo, it is funded by the CERN and by the EU. Uh, it is a repository, it's open access, it does not provide a unique uh, uh, numeric fingerprint, however it provides a DOI, it does not require any peer reviewing, uh, there are no charges for publishing and it accepts any format, and so on and so on. Dataverse is uh, a repository, open access, it has a unique uh, fingerprint, of uh, uh, numeric uh, fingerprint, it has a DOI, no peer reviewing, no charges and any format. It is sponsored by Harvard University and the United States in general. OSF is sponsored by the USA and a group of sponsors. Driad is sponsored by North Carolina uh, University and USA. Mendeley is sponsored by Elsevier because you can see it is a repository. It is open access, no unique uh, number, but a DOI, no peer reviewing, no charges, and they don't accept any format. They have specific requirements for format. So just explore this uh, table and check which is the most suitable data pl platform for you, whether you want to publish the data set in a journal to be a journal data uh, paper or you want to publish it just as a data set in a platform. So this is just to give you some idea. For sure, there is uh, ways to search uh, data sets and search engines. The most powerful search engine, in my opinion, is the data site uh, search. If you want to search data sets and uh, find them, uh, this is very uh, famous uh, uh, search engine uh, data site. I consider Google data set search very weak uh, 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 platform or very weak uh, engine. It does not uh, cover most data sets. So I always advise you to start with the data site search so that you can uh, explore the available data sets if you want to do a meta analysis or you want to do a reproducibility study, for example, and so on. Now, what are the data sharing criteria that we should uh, respect and should uh, adopt while uh, starting to share our data? Well, I need to make you familiar with something called FAIR, which is a project, uh, the FAIR data project, very famous. Uh, the FAIR data principles are set of uh, guiding, is a set of guiding principles to make data findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. And these principles guide scientific data management based on agreements and actions involving publishers, data repositories, funders, and researchers. And here you can see research libraries can use the FAIR data principles as a framework for fostering and expanding, extending uh, research data services. And as you can see, the four principles are included. So mainly the principles are data and supplementary materials have sufficiently rich metadata and unique and persistent identifier, identifier to be findable. Uh, metadata and data are understandable to humans and machines. Data is deposited in a trusted repository, which is accessible. 
Metadata use a formal, accessible, shared, and broadly applicable language for knowledge representation, which is interoperable and the saving and the format of the files. And data and collection have a clear usage, licenses, uh, Creative Commons, for example, and provide accurate information of uh, on provenance, so they are reusable and also for sure recognizable and citable. This is very important. So the FAIR principle does not accept separate data supplements, uh, which can be hard to exploit, and they respect these rules of findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable, and based on that, you should have uh, check your institution if there are special, special policies for the data set. If not, check the platform's uh, policies for data sharing, and from there, I invite you to start preparing your first uh, data set. I'm at the end of the presentation, some takeaway messages. So uh, people care about your contribution in science. They don't care about what you think. They don't care about uh, what you are afraid of. They just want to see contributions. And we as scientists, our contributions are not only journal publications or patents uh, or projects. Uh, we can also have other type of publication, which is data sets. Others can use them. Others can benefit from them. Maybe sharing the data sets will bring visibility to us and others will ask us to participate in a meta-analysis study. So it's very important to uh, share your contribution and see the data set sharing as a something you contribute to the others and the scientific work. Sharing your data set is part of the integrity of published research. It shows that you are credible. So it's very important that uh, uh, you, you, you try to uh, show this and give this signal. In general, all your research results are relevant, so don't withhold them. Walk on the side of evidence. If you have a data set, even if you couldn't publish something out of it, share it, maybe it can be useful. My recommendation is making your data available will make you much more likely cited and people will pay attention to your work. Make your data available so that others can use your work, follow it up, check it and build on it. And for sure, show, show your commitment to replicability and reproducibility by publishing your data sets because this is the only way to advance science and make sure that we can, on the short life we are living, have a significant contribution. By that, I end up today's presentation. Don't hesitate to share this presentation if you find it useful with anybody. If you have comments, questions, don't hesitate to share them with me. Don't hesitate to fact check what I'm saying. Maybe you have something I did uh, say something wrong. Don't hesitate to correct it. I always react to comments. By that, I end up today's presentation on open data. I hope it was useful. Thank you very much for your attention.